What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Modern Warfare. And over the last few days since the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War reveal, there's been a lot of controversy, a lot of opinions about the new killstreak system that is coming to Black Ops Cold War. And that is that killstreaks will not reset on death. And now when I first heard this, I was kind of concerned about it myself, mainly because I was thinking about the spam of killstreaks that was going to be available kind of in-game. And Treyarch came out and said, of course, they have added cooldown timers to all the streaks. That way they can't just be spammed one after another in a match. But the one thing that was still kind of concerning, I think, to a lot of the community and a lot of people were talking about was it feels like this system is going to kind of reward people for not playing well. And Tony Flame, who is Treyarch's lead designer, has gone on to Twitter and started talking to the community about this. He was going on just pretty much answering questions, but I guess a lot of the questions, of course, were revolving around the new killstreak system. I will link these tweets down in the description if you'd like to read over them for yourself. But he says the Black Ops Cold War system incentivizes a great range of play styles. Earn low tier streaks by contributing your part to a team victory, but to afford the juicy high end kill streaks, you still need to rack up multi, uh, multiple kills in the same life to earn that big streak bonus. He also talked about and answered some questions about people saying it's not going to reward bad players. He said there will still be plenty of people that's not going to be able to get the kill streaks. They understand that. But they want more of those middle tier style players, the people that invest tons of time into the game, to be able to participate in the fun as well. And he went on to answer some other questions uh, kind of revolving around the same thing, same concept. Some people asking also about competitive having kill streaks, and of course he really didn't have an answer for that. He said they were still working on the competitive side of the game. But overall, it sounds like he's trying to kind of relay the message to the community that yes, you can get massive kill streaks in this game if you go on a long tear. Like if you go on a 10, 15, 20, you know, kill streak in one life, you're gonna be able to be rewarded with these big uh, tier kill streaks like chopper gunners and things of that nature. But if you're just an average middle of the road player, you know, from what kind of what I gathered from this with kind of the uh, thing that I, I'm imagining he's trying to say is if you're a person that averages like, you know, maybe a negative KD by one or two every game or maybe a positive KD by one or two every game. If you're one of those players that's, you know, just an average of, you know, just kind of a middle of the road player, just about an average KD of about a one or maybe a 110, that you're still going to be able to participate in the fun. You're still going to be able to get kill streaks because you are helping your team out. You're playing well enough where you're not just going, you know, way negative every game, uh, you know, game after game. So they're going to reward you with, you know, some of the smaller streaks. But if you still want to be able to get these large, massive, uh, huge kill streaks, you know, the top tier ones, you're going to have to go on some extremely high, you know, streaks like you always have had to in the past in other Call of Duty games. I'm hoping this kind of clears up a lot of things for the community. Of course, if you guys were wondering about this, maybe it'll clear it up for you as well. I still think the community is a little bit undecided on this. I'm gonna have to wait and see how it's going to uh, kind of play out when the beta comes out. I'm still kind of curious to see what kind of streaks you get depending on how bad you play. But of course, you know, that's going to be something that I'm going to have to wait and find out when the beta is released. Of course, guys, leave me your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.